Okay, so we're going to carry on um, in this video series. So this is video number three. Um, I'll have the first video pop up in the top right hand corner and then I'll have the second video pop up in the top right hand corner as well. So um, <clears throat> first video we um, provisioned 40 manager cloud set up a base environment. Second video, we registered a 40 gate into um, the support account. Then we added the 40 gate into 40 manager cloud. Um, and we created um, some dummy policies on the gate and added them into a policy package. Uh, and then we ended the video, we'll continue on from here now. So I'm gonna log back into the gate that's managed via the 40 manager. As you can see, because it's now managed via 40 manager, you will receive this pop up every single time. What you wanna be doing is you wanna be log logging in as read only. You shouldn't really be doing any configuration on the local 40 gate anymore. Um, I'll cover what happens when you do in this video actually so the login is read only you can see that the policy policies that are added are the dummy policies um, that are mapped to the uk south hub 40 gate policy package so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to take that policy package off the appliance and put the default one back on which has got no uh, firewall policies at all so uh, this is how i do it go to an installation targets you'll see that the um this is the 40 gate that's mapped to this uh, policy package i'll delete it well, i'm going to add the new one so add the new one in So add that in and then I'm going to do uh, import. So I'm going to import the default policy package to the appliance. You'll see that the UK South Hub FGT is the one that we want. Push try and push the config or prepare. Then make sure that you always read the install preview because um, 40 manager does have a habit of trying to uh, import policies uh, that uh, or do things that you're not asking it to do. So make sure you already read this. Uh, that looks about right to me. Config firewall policy, uh, purging the, the, the existing ones. Could do a diff as well. Yeah, delete those, that's fine. So we're gonna install that. Wait for that to finish, make sure that there's no errors or anything like that. Okay, so that's gone on fine. Log back into the gate. Uh, you did. If you do do a refresh, it would update, but I always log back out, log back in again. Login is read only. Policy and objects, firewall policy. There should be no policies there. Lovely. So that's um, playing around with policy packages. Um, we'll just put the, um, the, the correct policy package back. So um, let's remove this one first. So under default policy package, delete it. In the install targets, edit, add in the one that we want, install wizard, policy package, yeah. <clears throat> we'll do a quick install preview. There should be three firewall policies there um, with nice names on them. Yeah, so there's three firewall policies there, good. We'll do that install. Finish, go back to the gate, 
log out, log back in again. There should there should be free firewall policies there. Yeah, perfect. So that's um, how it should be. What we're going to do now is we are going to uh, be a little bit naughty and create another firewall policy locally on the gate and then we're going to see what 40 manager thinks of of us doing that okay so if i jump back over to 40 manager i've gone into device manager device and groups clicked manage 40 gate there's only one in here at the minute uh, you can see that the config status is synchronized at the moment, which means that the database that's running on the 40 manager and the configuration database that's running on the 40 gate are the same. And uh, that's, this is generally the, the way that you want it to be. However, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to log out. I'm going to log back in again. But instead of clicking, click login read only, I'm going to click login read write. It'll tell you, it'll give you a warning to say, please don't do this. But this is a demonstration purposes, so we're going to crack on and do it. Policy and objects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now add a new policy above these three. I'm going to say we should not have done this. I'm going to enable that policy. So now you see that there is a fourth policy there that says we should not have done this. To be clear, that's this is created locally on the 40 gate. The manager will kick off a fuss. Okay, so if we refresh this page now, you can see that there is a few things that are interesting and, and have changed. So the config status has changed from synchronized to auto update. That means that a configuration change has been installed locally on the 40 gate and the 40 manager has received a copy of that configuration change. And also you can see that the policy package status is now out of sync because the database between the 40 gate and the 40 manager is different. So just thought I'd quickly cover what the definition of auto update is. It can be disabled in the command line, um, but when there is a change on the 40 gate that is not initiated by an install operation, the 40 gate automatically sends the configurations to 40 manager. The auto update operation is enabled by default, but can be disabled to allow the administrator to accept or refuse updates, use the following CLI commands on the 40 manager. Okay, so to fix the dispute, um, if you go to policy package status, import configuration, import policy package, select the policy package um, as it is. Um, we want to overwrite this, so we do want to put overwrite here. Be very careful with doing this. Next. Yeah. Again, make sure that you always read through what 40 manager is wanting to do. So you see it's imported four policies, whereas the previous policy package had only three. And you can see that the policy package now is in sync with the gate. The database between the gate and the manager is also in sync. If I actually go to policy and object policy packages, um, you will see that the um, we should not have done this policy that we created is now added as part of this policy package. What we're, what we're going to actually do is we're going to delete that out um, because we don't want that. So we're going to delete the that, that rule and then we do an install wizard um yeah yeah let's just make sure it's going to do what we're asking it to do again 
Yeah, so it's going to delete firewall policy four. Um, we'll just check that. Read only is fine. Policy and objects. Um, make sure that policy ID is enabled. Yeah. So policy ID number four is we should not delete this. So yeah, 40 managers got that spot on. So let's do that. Just log out of this gate just to be prepared. Yeah. So finish that, log back in, read only. There should only be the three policies on here. Again, yeah, perfect. So that's everything that we need for now. Okay, so that finishes this video up. Just to summarize, we, we've looked at policy packages in a little detail, um, how to add them, how to remove them generally, lightly touched on how they work. In the next video, there will be more devices added to the 40 manager i'll probably add another hub um, and then what we will do is we will add the same policy package to both of them and just per just demonstrate what the purpose of policy packages um, are uh, in terms of centralized management uh, and then we might start to look more towards um, automatic onboarding that kind of thing as well so um look out for the next video that should be available within the next couple of days